Hello everyone and welcome back. A season of The Wish has now arrived and so has a number of new content for us to mess around with, one of them being the reworked Dragon's Breath. The exotic after multiple use has a lot of promise to it for both newer and endgame players and I want to show a version that maximizes Scorch damage for nuking areas entirely. With this build, you'll get back fast ability regen via your fragments alone, non-stop Scorch and ignition applications being triggered, high damage output from just abilities and heavy alone, and a ton of crazy fun. So if you're down to walk in the valley of death with me, then let's go ahead and get things started. To start, you're going to want to have touch of flames so that fusion grenades can explode twice. Then you want heat rises where you can use your weapons and abilities while gliding in the air. While airborne and have heat rises active, getting a kill will grant you melee energy. The Warlocks aspect section don't offer a lot to the user until you hit the fragment section, this that we know. Luckily, Touch of Flame and Heat Rises effect for both abilities do hold promise for certain build crafting. For Fragments, Ember of Tempering where Solar Weapon's final blows grant you and allies increased recovery for a short duration. Solar Weapon final blows also grant Fire Sprite. Ember of Searing where defeating Scorch targets grants melee energy and creates Fire Sprites. Ember of Shah, where your solar ignition spreads Scorch to affected targets, and Ember of Ashes, where you apply more Scorch stacks to targets. For a simple run of the mill setup, designed around Scorch ignitions, the following fragments combos will allow you to retain a high usage over the effect as long as possible. Ember of Ashes is a must, as this with Dawn Chorus will enhance our Scorch damage to either outright kill targets or push them far enough to trigger a simple and instant ignition. And then apply an Ember Shard to the mix will allow our ignition's effect from all sources to spread non-stop. These two are the most important ones to have, while Ember Tempering and Searing are both beneficial, but can be swapped out depending on user's choice. For the modern stats, we'll be using both melee and discipline to maximize our damage output while heavy is in use, but we'll also be using both intellect and resilience to increase our overall usage while out of the field. Resilience at tier 9 will give us a 27% damage resistance while playing content. There isn't anything specific that's required for the stat to be this high, except for the damage reduction being applied. However, having this stat this high will help with surviving lethal encounters when playing Legend, Master and above content. Discipline, we have ours at tier 10 with a 37 second grenade cooldown when using our fusion grenades. At this base level, we will be supporting the build further with Fire Sprite, Grenade Kickstart and distribution mod, so no matter where we are, we always have this grenade available at a moment's notice. As Grenade Kickstart will play a massive role in how fast we can get our abilities back, having these stacks and stacks and elemental charge mod will be the best play for getting a 31% grenade return upon activation. Now, Strength Stat is at tier 5 with a 1 minute 9 second cooldown. The only reason this is not higher is because the Ember of Searing and Heat Rises effect that will grant you midi energy back, so there is no point of investing more to the stat when that can be pushed elsewhere. The next section now covers the additional mods and armor charges. We have Charged Up, which will expand how many charges we can carry once we collect an orb of power. After that, having Harmonic Siphon and Firepower mod will further help with creating orbs of power at a faster rate for us. Lastly, Having Heavy Ammo Finder, Times 2 Reserves, and Solar Scavenger mods will be useful for allowing us to use non stop heavy ammo as this will be heavily needed. Now, lastly, the weapons being used will be the BXR 55 Battler with Incandescent and Perpetual Motion. The perfect weapon you use if you want to be accurate with your shots and also scorch targets from distance. As any solar weapon with Scorch Perk is available for the user to pick, the following is one of the best to use and farm for generally all players in game. On top of that, pulse rifles are also seasonal weapons as well, which makes it perfect to be used in GMs and endgame content that may have a certain champion type that afflicts with the pulse rifle usage. If possible, try and get yourself a crafted version, as the crafted version now can get both demolitionists and incandescent together, both be an amazing pairing for whatever discipline based build you may have in mind. Heavy is the Dragon's Breath Exotic, which has now been newly reworked. The following now focuses on applying a napalm effect which can continuously build up Scorch and Ignitions the longer effects are available. 
it can also auto reload at times by fuel. So for those who are looking for a quick swap auto rocket this season, well, now's your time to grab one. This is honestly one of the best Scorch Focus exotics that every player should own and at least try once for maximum destruction. Now my overall thoughts on this build is that the introduction of Dragon's Breath was hesitant for me at first, as I feared that they would keep its old exotic how it was based back in D1. Luckily, this was not the case as the reworked exotic has indeed overwhelmed me with pure glee. Now that may sound a bit silly at first, but once you get a full ignition of Scorch going with the exotic, the absolute destruction you can bring is nothing to shake your head away from. I've noticed the best way to maximize the exotic is to go with a quick swap meta loadout with auto load infusion and the shotguns, simply because of how a Dragon's Breath damage buildup works. In high endgame content, I can see this being a super popular loadout to use for nuking certain enemies quickly, while also providing an AoE effect and continuous ability regen. However, my version is more grounded and designed for fast ability regen, fast scorch buildup, and non-stop ignition triggers, the sort of build you'll want to use once GMs become available. It's all rather simple as the freedom to use whatever scorch based solo weapon is up to you, although having the kindling trigger and flinch striker seasonal mod can help with applying scorch with any solo weapon you'd like. And from there, building up your Scorch buffs via Fragments and Dawn Chorus is all a user would need for inflicting horrific levels of burn towards targets. As Scorch and Ignitions are designed for ad clearing in mind, this setup is perfect for clearing out high level rooms without the need of much interaction involved. In fact, because Dragon's Breath is a fire and forget exotic, getting its fuel level to max and then shooting it into a crowd will pretty much do the ad clearing for you, and it's incredibly dumb but fun. But just to make things clear, the exotic is a fire and forget exotic that can build up its fuel levels with other ignition sources. Now it's recommended that you do not reload the weapon manually unless you have to, as at times 5 it will do it itself. Now outside of the basic, the build will allow players to burn, scorch and ignite whatever they have in mind, no matter what content you play. As long as you keep the scorch and ignitions effect going, you can get back ability energy without the need of investing so much on your end. If this sounds good, then why not give this a try? So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on the content shared then please leave a comment below, while at the same time if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future then leave a like and sub while here. I will leave a dim link for the build below, and if you want more stuff like this then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all and I hope to see you again soon.